Ladies and gentlemen, today is March the 14th. It is Tuesday. And what I'm here to do is tell you that ChatGPT4 developers are running a live stream right now. And I'm watching a live screen, stream. And I just want to show you what it was able to do. We're going we're gonna to talk about this right here. Uh, we're, I'm just going to let it play. I'm gonna, then I'm going to take you to where I just was to let you understand. I told you that they're listening to individuals like myself do videos. You'll see in a second. So we're going to play this one right here. Well. This is literally a command A copy paste. Like this is what it's supposed to parse through to find in the middle of that document that, oh yeah, message contents, that's required now. But let's see if it can do it. So we will ask for, uh, I am receiving blank message contents. Can you, why could this be happening? How do I fix it? Now, they're using the API section or the playground section of ChatGPT. The thing that's new about GPT-4 is context length. 32,000 tokens is kind of the upper limit that we support right now. Uh, and the model is able to flexibly use long documents. Uh, it's something we're still optimizing. So we, we recommend trying it out. OK, so they give you the highest upper end that you can pay for is 32,000 tokens. OK, which is a lot because I think it's like three cents per blah, blah, blah. So understand it's going to cost you not a lot, but it's still going to cost you. Why? Because it's a business now. Now, ChatGPT4, what he's going to do, and I'm going to flip ahead just a little bit so you guys can see, he's going to create code for building. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hold on. He's going to take this picture and use this image to create what? Wait for it. Wait for it. He's taking an image with his phone, and he is getting ChatGPT4 to take that photo and to oh look at that he even did some arithmetic on a piece of scrabbly paper and hold on where is it ah <sighs> i am i'm trying to show you guys dang it he created a website ladies and gentlemen and i can't find the website portion dag nabbit i am disappointed he created a website with chat gp oh there it is my joke website he created a full website well not a full website just the first page but he now shows that chat gpt can be used to create a website now that's just one thing but after he creates the website i want you to hear what he says they're getting ready to do so i'm going to play it now and so there you go going from hand-drawn beautiful art if i do say so myself to working website and this is all just potential, right? We, you can see lots of different applications. We ourselves are still figuring out new ways to use this. Um, so we're going to work with our partner. We're going to scale up from there. But please be patient, because it's going to take us some time to really make this available for everyone. So I have one last thing to show you. I've shown you reading existing content. I've shown you how to build with the system as a partner. The last thing I'm going to show is how to work with the system to accomplish a task that none of us like to do, but we all have to. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Now I want y'all to pay attention. Okay, I want y'all to pay attention because you've been hearing me talk about it, but you've been hearing me demonstrate that the system previously could do this, but watch this, hold on. So you may have guessed, the thing we're going to do is taxes. Now They're gonna do taxes. GPT is not a certified tax professional, nor am I, so you should uh -oh. always he check gives with a disclaimer. your tax advisor, um, but it can be helpful to understand now, you see how he says you should always check with your tax advisor? You should know that he's a developer, and you can guarantee that people like him are the ones who program the system that tells people that stupid disclaimer that they should always check with a tax advisor. Why? Why do I need to check with a tax advisor? Why can't you just say, hey, you need to double check the information before submitting any documents, utilizing any of this information, because this is not designed to be 100% accurate. There may be mistakes. That's all he has to say. And let's say go check with somebody. I don't have to go say you need to go talk to a tax advisor. Why I got to go talk to a tax advisor? Sorry. Let me let him talk. And some dense content to just be able to empower yourself to, to be able to sort of solve problems and get a, get a handle on what's happening uh, when you could not otherwise. So once again, I'll do a system message. In this case, I'm going to tell it that it's tax GPT, uh, which is not a specific thing that we've trained into. Look at that. He said it's tax GPT. Now, I like that. He is letting you guys know that there is a prompt. 
we're going to do tax GPT from now on. And then we're going to do uh, law firm GPT. And then we're going to do judicial GPT. And we're going to do all kinds of GPTs now that he done told us we can do that. To this model, you can be very creative if you want with the system message to really get the You've model got to believe it. of what is your job? What are you supposed to do? So I paste it in. This is what I do to get you in the mood. Baby, I do it all to get you in the Oh, that's not the moody. Oh, I'm sorry. One second. The tax code. This is about 16 pages worth of, of tax code. Um, and there's this question about Alice and Bob. They got married at one point, uh, and the, here are their, their incomes, and they take a standard deduction. They're filing jointly. So first question, what is their standard deduction for 2018? So while the model is chugging, I'm going to solve this problem by hand to show you what's involved. So the standard deduction uh, is the basic standard deduction plus the additional. The basic one is 200% uh, for joint return uh, of subparagraph C, which is here. OK, so additional doesn't apply. The limitation doesn't apply. Um, OK, none of these apply. Oh, wait, special rules for taxable year 2018, which is the one we care about through 2025, you have to substitute 12,000 for 3,000. So 200% of 12,000, 24,000 is the final answer. If you notice, the model got the, to the same conclusion. And you can actually read through its explanation. And to tell you the truth, the first time I tried to approach this problem myself, I could not figure it out. I spent half an hour reading through the tax code, trying to figure out this like back reference and why there's subparagraph, like, just what's even going on. It was only by asking the model to spell out its reasoning, and then I followed along, that I was like, oh, I get it now. I understand how this works. And so that, I think, is where the power of the system lies. It's not perfect, but neither are you. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Now, let me say this. I've been trying to gauge his personality and who he is. Now, he's a person who now has a little bit of money. He's worked with ChatGPT, so he has a little bit of money now. Okay, and you see they're doing the branding, and they got ChatGPT right there on a Mac computer. You, you see what I'm saying? So now they have money, and now it's all about the brand. And now he is doing the advertisement for the brand. He's not advertising to you. Okay, he's advertising to people like me and the coders and other people like that. These are the people he's advertising to because he knows we're going to tell others about it. This is a plan. This is not just them making a stupid video. That's the first thing. Like I told you, they've been listening to people not like you, but people like me. Now, have they been listening to people like you who've been putting in your questions in ChatGPT? Yes. The simple questions, yes, they've been listening to those. But if you notice people like me, the complexity of the questions, we just did a video on promissory notes. That video took two hours. You saw the back and forth in that two hour and seven minute video. Okay. The rest of you are not going to spend two hours talking to the unit. Because you don't understand the value of it. ChatGPT4 is not only going to be faster, but it's going to be able to do more. And so we're going to be able to do a little bit more manipulating at that point. See, when we do manipulating at that point, it's going to produce what we need. So I haven't been using the API, and I'm going to start using the API and demonstrating the API on video for you guys. Okay? And there you have it. ChatGPT4. To be available soon. Remember, this is letting everybody know it's coming and what its capabilities are. The fact that it's able to create websites, you have no idea how important that is to people like me. Okay, look, ladies and gentlemen, anybody can create a website. There are all kind of web programs out there where you get to create a website. Even if you go to Wix, you can create your own website and you don't have to use theirs if you know what you're doing. But we are going to be creating and putting together certain websites, especially the Eon channel. The Eon channel is pretty much there. I just haven't had time to focus on the Eon channel. But nonetheless, there's going to be a whole lot more to ChatGPT4 than you know. It will be faster than ChatGPT3. Now, the thing is, he says the language model is still up until 2021 because they haven't updated it yet. They're in the process of doing that. They are trying to get this rolled out because Google has just announced that they have a robotic AI that they're looking to try to put into people's homes and that is responsive so the chat gpt the chat ai war is on oh by the way this chat gpt4 will also be able to create chat bots for you and your websites so even the one currently now can do it but it takes a whole lot 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Ten minutes of my time. Your time. Bye-bye.